So I was, and I don't know if it if it is necessary to pinpoint anything to say. Okay, this is, comes from that, or this is the fear about that. It's just non. I cannot even express what it is. Is it needed? Is it necessary that I have to have a reason in the mind for this this for this lump that I feel here, or can I just? When I just look at it, it, it doesn't go away. It keeps on just staying here, just being here. This really big black thing right here, I can feel it right here. Yeah. It's interesting how healing is about exposure, and oftentimes the mind seems to be a mystery because of the, the unconscious beliefs. You know, the decisions are being made continuously, but because of the unconscious beliefs, you're not even aware of the decision to close down or the decision to have a, a contraction feeling. So, to cultivate the healing, uh, I would say the willingness to, to start just to open up, that's why we have expression sessions, but it could be in a group with a close friend, it could be journaling, it could be anyway, just the willingness to start to get in touch with the feelings and the thoughts is a huge step towards healing. And it's like a good practice to do that. That's why when when we feel contracted and a, a, a close friend calls and say, hey, how you doing? It's more a symbol to our mind that we're willing to start to open up just ever so slightly. Even if a friend just calls and says, how's it going today? Well, I mean, I'm not feeling so good, I'm feeling a little contracted. You know, then you start talking about it and amazing, miraculous things happen when we start to move in that direction, just with the willingness to open up and be healed. So, you might say that it's your life's devotion and the mystery will dissolve away as you dive into the practice and the willingness. And you don't have to kind of try to look way into the future or even try to figure out how it's going to happen. That's part of our old analytical way, you know, tell me how to get from A to B. But just the willingness to do that. And also it's, it's quite uh, common when you come together in communities and groups like this where those kind of things will happen. You're joyful, you're open, you're flowing, and then suddenly the contraction comes. But instead of trying to analyze it, figure it out, or even kind of do a, a fix, or go for a quick fix, just to be able to relax into it for a moment and allow it to come is so huge. It's absolutely so huge. And we've just seen it over and over in the people that we've worked with. Because you just let everything come up in this seeming situation that's part of the emptying. Like you say, I probably have some concepts of enlightenment. Yeah, it's more than a probably. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, totally. it's coming. And, and to the extent that you can just let it up, then you can start to see that, that your state of mind is a decision and that if this thing is repeated, someone telling you they're enlightened or something like that is still, if you feel a fear or, or something uncomfortable with that, then it's always just coming from an interpretation and, you know, you're just willing to let that up and out interpret. Because that's, you know, with our community, those, that deep sense of presence just comes and comes and comes and then you know, I'll, I'll hear things like, there is no RML, or I don't even relate to those thoughts of personhood, or those thoughts that seem to be a story. I mean, the story just dissolves. Good stories, bad stories, awkward stories, happy stories, it's just emptiness, presence is so strong that, that that's really what enlightenment is about, it's just presence. And, and the mind becomes very, very still with that presence and there's not a sense of, of even uh, trying to put a story on it. You know, when people ask me, you know, at what point in your life's journey did you become enlightened? You know, I can't process the question because it's like, you know, like in what the bleep, like the marital status of the number five. What's the marital status of the number five is the same 
at what point in your life, kind of, at what point in linear time on the timeline did you become enlightened? You know, it's not that. It never was that. It's just pure presence. 